we are actually going to be learning how to use the rotating beam fatigue testing machine here in the material science lab. Uh, there's a couple of different components to this machine. Uh, here we have the dial that controls the RPM. And then here we have where it will count your number of cycles to failure. And it's got a 1 to 100 ratio. Basically, if it says 1, it means that it's gone through 100 cycles. And this is how you reset it when you're ready to test it. Um, and this is how you control the moment that you put on so that you know what stress. And it can go from 0 to uh, 200. And then um, now we're going to load this, the specimen into the machine. So we have the specimen. There's two collets here. You want to load it into this collet first and kind of just get it a little loosely fit on there so that it won't move around too much. And then you want to load it into this next collet. Um, and then once again, not too tight, not too loose. And then you want to grab these two wrenches here and you start tightening it. And you want to make sure that you get a nice snug fit like that. And then you'll do the same thing on this one. Um, once you get a nice snug fit, then you're ready to run the machine. And actually start running this machine. Uh, and so here is the on switch. And so you got to make sure that it's on right here. So we'll flip that on. And then this is actually where it becomes a two-man job because now we need to have Bronson over here uh, hold this, this part right here with uh, the glove and then you're going to turn it up, you're going to turn up your RPM before you start setting it. Um, but it's going to get kind of loud, so I'll explain the rest of what we're going to do. After we get it spinning, then once I get to my desired RPM, I'm going to slide this weight over to whatever moment I want it on, and then uh, we'll sit it and leave it there until it fails. Alright. Hey, Bronson, you ready? Was it quarter 95? Yeah. Okay. You want to make sure you tighten your weight on there good. And then you let the person know that's holding it, and then you reset the, the number of cycles. So ready? Three, two, one.